We close tonight with an update on a story CBS News has been following for over a decade. It's a partnership between a community in crisis and a nun who's devoted her life to helping. Don Daler says the bond has only grown stronger. These Arizona students at St. Peter Mission School in the Gila River Indian community go, go, go. are running for their lives. Adult onset diabetes, once known as a disease of the elderly, is affecting children here as young as four. Knowing the propensity our people have for diabetes, we start our day out with running. Wish your brother was that fast. Sister Martha Mary Carpenter is the school's principal. We don't teach subjects. We teach children, and we're giving them the skills, lifelong healthy habits. Some of the 230 boys and girls enrolled in this K through 8 school are already clinically obese. A few tipping the scale at nearly 300 pounds. For thousands of years, the Pima Indians lived off the land, farming this desert. But after the Gila River was dammed in 1930 to provide water to nearby Phoenix, their farms dried up. 60 Minutes visited this community in 2003. It's rare to see a physically fit person here, and according to the National Institutes of Health, they are still among the most obese Americans. We'll teach you something. Back then, Sister Martha had taken on the federal government and won. She was granted permission to modify the federal school lunch guidelines for her students. Today's lunches are healthier. Low on carbohydrates, higher on protein, fresh fruit, and fresh vegetables. The results are visible and invisible. This year, we may have several children who are pre-diabetic, but we don't have any children who have that dreaded disease. Speed it up. After 33 years of fighting for these kids, this battle has become personal. When I see their smiley faces and their running feet, just makes my day. With her help, these kids now have a running start on the rest of their lives. Don Daly, CBS News, New York.